This book is The Giant Jam Sandwich. It's a long, mostly funny poem written by Janet Burroway, and the idea for the story and all of the pictures were done by John Vernon Lord. John Vernon Lord did work for children, but also uh, illustrations that grown-ups could enjoy, and he was a professor at the University of Brighton in England. Janet Burroway also wrote books for adults, eight novels, but she did two books for children with John Vernon Lloyd, Lord. Um, the other famous book they did was Truck on the Track. As you follow along in this book, if you never lived in England, these might be helpful for you to know. When the poet says bald pate, she's talking about a man's head. When you see on the blackboard at the town meeting the fancy Latin name for a wasp, it will say Vespa vulgaris. And now you know why a Vespa scooter is called a Vespa, because it's shaped and scoots around like a wasp. And the last word you might enjoy knowing is BAP. B-A-P is a kind of sandwich that people love to eat in England. One hot summer in itching down, four million wasps flew into town. They drove the picnickers away. They chased the farmers from their hay. They stung Lord Swell on his fat, bald pate. They dived and hummed and buzzed and ate. And the noisy, nasty nuisance grew till the villagers cried, What can we do? So they called a meeting in the village hall, and Mayor Muddlenut asked them all, What can we do? And they said, Good question, but nobody had a good suggestion. Then Bap the baker leaped to his feet and cried, What do wasps like best to eat? Strawberry jam! Now wait a minute. If we made a giant sandwich, we could trap them in it. The gentlemen cheered, hooray! The ladies squealed, ooh! And Farmer Seed said, use my field. Bap gave instructions for the making of the dough. Mix flour from above and yeast from below. Salt from the seaside, water from the spout. Now thump it, bump it, bang it about. While they were working and working hard, some more made a tablecloth out in the yard. When they were done, the dough was left to rise, till the loaf was a mountain in shape and size. They hitched it up with a bit of fuss to tractors, cars, and the village bus, and took it to the oven they had made on the hill, fifty cookers in an old brick mill. For hours and hours they let it cook. It swelled inside till the window shook. It was piping hot when they took it out. And the villagers raised a mighty shout. Isn't it crusty? Aren't we clever? But the wasps were just as bad as ever. The loaf was left to cool. And then the people watched while six strong men took a great big saw and sliced right through. Everybody clapped, and they cut slice too. The village bus, they all agreed, would spoil the fields of farmer seed. So eight fine horses pulled the bread to where the picnic cloth was spread. A truck drew up and dumped out butter, and they spread it out with a flap and a flutter. Spoons and spades slap and slam, and they did the same with the strawberry jam. Meanwhile, high above the field, six flying machines whirred and wheeled, ready for the wasp to take the bait. And then there was nothing to do but wait. Suddenly, the sky was humming. All four million wasps were coming. They smelled that jam. They dived and struck. And they ate so much that they all got stuck. 
The other slice came down, kersplat, on top of the wasps, and that was that. There were only three that got away, and where they are now, I, I cannot say. But they never came back to Itching Down, which is not a waspish sort of town, but a very nice place to dance and play. And that's what the villagers did that day. What became of the sandwich? Well, in Itching Down, they like to tell how the birds flew off with it in their beaks and had a feast for a hundred weeks. And that's the end of the wonderful story illustrated by John Vernon Lord and put into poetry by Janet Burroway, The Giant Jam Sandwich.